Hey, I'm Gavin, welcome to my kitchen. Let me show you around. I'm not sponsored by them or anything like that, but like, it just starts with coffee. Every day, you've got to start the day right. That, and then boom. One cup of coffee, and then the day begins, ready to go. Um, I spend so much of my time in here because I have uh, three young boys, and uh, so there's endless requests for food. Follow me here. This is uh, like, this is temperature controlled because it's not because I'm fancy, it was already here when I was here, but like it's a perfect place to keep my best guitars. So I keep all my guitars here that I love and obviously wine and you just sort of work your way through that system. But that's, uh, that's definitely the pride and joy of my kitchen is uh, all these guitars. This is like all the different things that I use to cook um, from a very humble, a humble salad spinner that is really good because nobody wants water in their salads, right? So that's a really good thing. Uh, to something or as, I mean, you have an air fryer, because I live in California, but I never used it. I don't know how to use them. It doesn't, I, I, I sort of fry if I need to. And uh, this is sous vide. So that's the, probably the fanciest bit of equipment. Um, you know, it's basically, it's a, it's a water bath, so it's not, it's just boiling in a bag. Where I grew up in London, they used to have like these terrible boiling in a bag, um, like dinners. Terrible, um, Findus, whatever they made them. Um, but this is a different thing. So you don't mean you just like you cook whatever you want to cook, whether it's meat, fish, vegetables, um, in the water bath. The idea is you will cook it real slow, and because you put it at a certain temperature, it can never go beyond that. So you can't destroy it. So you can like cook. I cook like five steaks um, in the sous vide for like two or three hours, and then take them out and then put them in the fridge or even in the freezer. Then when you defrost them or you take them out of the fridge. You can just like whack and put a nice um, sear on them and you have a really perfect steak in like in five, 10 minutes. So I'm always about that. There's like all the regular like food press processors and a blender. I've got the biggest blender in the world. Um, all these things, a cotton candy maker that my kids have used once. It's kind of bullshit. Um, the, and then this is a juicer, pizza, really crappy little pizza oven. Just it's, uh, so we make little pizzas and um, that's that. So this is the fridge. It's always a bit different, like my boys come tomorrow, so it's a bit different when they come, it gets filled up differently for them, but like, that's kind of it. So you have like a mixture of, I don't know, there's like sort of vegan, then you got animal products, and then it, vegan, 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 vegan. Everything's vegan actually in here. There's a bit of cheese, a botarga, you know, Spanish cod, uh, uh, gray mullets. So you put this, this Sardinian to make the most amazing pasta. So that's, a, that's where it's there. But then you have like the seitan here that you can deep fry and pretend it's something else. Uh, and then a little bit of that stuff. And then we have just vegetables and fruit, you know, really easy. Avocados, gotta eat those. And just two, two things of it. And I don't know. I make vegetables for my kids all the time. It's not like their favorite, but we just make these big dinners that they can just experience all this different kind of food. You know what I mean? Thanks for joining me on my kitchen tour. Hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you later. Stay safe. Much love. <laughs>